Hello guys, Wonderp Indie here coming with a fresh new video tutorial in the, for Game Maker Studio and for a pretty specific and sweet one-liner which you're seeing in front of you. So basically kind of a stupid AI which is working pretty sweet if you have, well, nothing which is basically blocking you and as you can see uh, that already works pretty sweet and of course a one-liner. Spoiler, this is what it looks like. Da, da, da. So if you just wanted to know that. <laughs> Have a good one, bye bye. But if we, of course, if you want to know a little bit more how these things play out, because spoiler from my side, I'm going to use that later on for the Hotline Miami clone. So here, once again, if you pay attention here, then you already know that stuff in advance. So once again, a little bit spoiler from my side. And I wanted to establish this knowledge base so everybody is on the same level. So if you want to know that and some bonus content, stay tuned. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing? And definitely this stuff because this is super important and super easy to pull off. Alrighty, so let's get back here and then and let's keep them, why not? And then um, one thing, for example, for motion planning is that, for example, you have because this is how it officially called. Of course, you could call it dump AI or pathfinding or whatever, because it is kind of same-ish. And therefore we need a start position. This is our player, this dude here. And then um, we want to go um, from our enemy because the enemy is homing onto the player from here to there. And then for example, this would be the linear way. So starting and ending, and of course, if you encounter something which is solid, a blocky or whatever, then it would stop. Or for example, if you do a little bit of path finding, because then you just go around and that we can do in, in our second video. So here, once again, um, this is in the manual, you can find it under movement and collisions and then motion planning. And then we just gonna go over the linear functions, which are pretty sweet. Then we're gonna, do the potential function. This is more interesting because here we can actually go around things. So this is pretty sweet, but it comes with some disadvantages. Once again, in the second video, and then the Tesla, the Porsche, the gold standard of gold gold. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> a pretty decent way how we can actually go through mazes. And this actually works. Uh, so basically, if you start here and enemy would go through that kind of stuff. But of course, not spoiling, it already does work, I tested this. So I'm pretty uh, positive on how the how Game Maker Studio actually handles that for you. And you just need to write a few lines of code. Sweet stuff. But once again, not spoiling that stuff. So normally what you do is, for example, if you have an enemy, what you can, for example, do is just say like, hey, update, let's say, I don't know, the X position, so something like this, and then we would move to the right. Boring. But for example, if you want to home into something, then what you can actually use is the linear function, which is called MP linear step. And of course, you have to put it into the step event because then you can always update for, uh, the position where you want to go. So let's say, for example, our player is moving, then you uh, don't fixate on an old position, you always update it to the new one, and then you kind of have a homing effect from the beginning. So what can we learn from that? First of all, we need a few parameters which you input, but they are pretty simple. Therefore, first of all, where we want to home in, and then the X and Y position, so basically where we want to go, so our player, then how fast, this is basically a speed value, which you per step want to go. So for example, 0 0.5 per uh, step. So I don't know, uh, quite a lot, <laughs> as you can see uh, later on. And then check all. This means to block the movement if there is something which is flagged as solid. So let's go and give you a little impression. So for example, I have this object wall parent and it's flagged as solid and then we have its children and where are those guys here so you can actually see them well they are below my tile set therefore let's go back to the tile set so this does look better and as you can see now boom uh, 
we will have problems in here and this is actually the intention of my side. So let's go back and then we just say like hey flag this as true and then we will stop. So let's check it actually out so you can see it. Alrighty so they are following nicely but, uh, but if we are for example doing this everybody's getting stuck here. Yay! <laughs> so as you can see um, this system is, isn't perfect but it's good for some uh, simple homing and let's say in a, a place where there are no collisions and then this stuff works pretty decent uh, overall so be because this is just one line of code of course we can go the other route so this is then mp linear step object and therefore it's basically the same code as here but now we don't have a check all we have uh, object which we want to specifically uh, define as our collision and therefore I just say like hey my object wall and then I guess it doesn't need to be solid and boom we just say like hey if there is an object wall in there uh, let's actually check it out if it needs to be solid but I guess not yep as you can see but now we have a thing which is clustering and therefore um, now we can actually have them at one spot and of course uh, looks like one do that but multiple ones on one spot and of course there is another way how you can actually do this this is bonus content so if you don't want to know that you can say bye bye um, you can actually do that with a path I'm gonna uh, make this very very fast so if you don't know path I made a video to, uh, on that link in the description below First of all, you need to create a path. And then what you need to do is start the path and then just say like, hey, MP linear path and then path where to go, what kind of speed and then check all. So basically this is very similar to um, this uh, MP linear step. And of course, this is not the optimal way because normally what you do is, well, you create the path but um, if you do it like this, you're creating quite a lot of paths. This is not good for the memory. You need to, well, destroy the old one if it does exist. And therefore, for example, I would need to do something like this. Then uh, path delete. And each time I would do something like this. A little bit clunky, I would say. But what you can actually do is draw the path on which you are going which is pretty sweet so let's check this out and then what you can see is that the frame rate is dropping pretty hard but not now and then well we're having some lines which are getting drawn from <laughs> from the enemy to us and of course because this is a linear thing uh, it will boom break here because well once again this is getting checked and then it's saying like yeah uh, this is the end of the line alrighty that was it from my side hopefully uh, you learned something and then this will be a basis for the next tutorial because here we're gonna do some more tweaking and a little bit more fun stuff hopefully that wasn't too difficult that was actually pretty easy stuff and then we're gonna jump into MP potential and then uh, the do that will go around and of course we will tweak a little bit with that kind of adjustments. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Bye bye.